Oil usually grabs all the headlines, but the real action these days is in natural gas. While WTI crude is up 41% since the beginning of the year, nat gas has nearly doubled. It's up 96%, approaching the $5 mark, the highest level in eight years. And a lot of analysts think we could be here to stay as we head into the fall. Chenier Energy, a liquefied natural gas producer, has been getting a boost from the jump in prices. It's up nearly 50% year to date. And just this week, announced its first ever quarterly dividend of 33 cents. Joining me now is Jack Fusco. He is the president and CEO. Jack, welcome. It's good to have you. Thank you, Kelly. And thanks for having me on today. Why the dividend? You know, Kelly, we announced in all of the above capital allocation plan. So in the plan is the first thing was to strengthen our balance sheet. We, we are just finishing with a $30 billion construction effort, and it's time for us to get our credit metrics uh, under control. Uh, and then th secondly, what we want to do is fund our growth, which we have expansion plans at our Corpus Christi facility, and we've set some money aside for that. And then lastly, we were trying to give back to the shareholders. And we're doing it two ways. One with the dividend, as you mentioned, and secondly, with our share buyback program. Mm -hmm. So we've announced another uh, billion dollar share buyback program that we, we have effectively launched. And like you said, sort of getting past a, a lot of CapEx to a, a different kind of uh, go, uh, sort of, of environment going forward. Let me ask you, obviously, liquefied natural gas is just one piece of the, of the natural gas market, broadly speaking. But we're talking about uh, fuel that is 40 percent of the U.S. electricity grid. That is, I think, nearly half of what uh, households use to heat, especially as we head into winter. Are nat gas prices going to stay this high? And if so, why? I mean, I hear analysts say we have enough nat gas in this country that prices should be at $1, not $5. Yeah, so Kelly, we've seen it all over the last year, right? With the, with, with the pandemic, we saw natural gas prices around the world at $2. There was $2 here in the U.S., $2 in Europe, and $2 in Asia. And then with, as the economies began to ramp back up, as the countries and companies worldwide decided that nat gas was the fuel of choice for a clean energy transition, the demand has just skyrocketed. So we are completely sold out as a company of 90% of our production for the next 20 years. Wow. And, and it's, you know, we've delivered so far since 2016 when we started uh, 1,700 tankers to 36 different countries and regions around the world. So the demand for the product is, is, uh, is incredible. Um, Nat gas prices in uh, Asia today are $22 in MMBTU. Wow. They're $20 in Europe. So, the, it, it, you know, it's been mul multiples of what uh, the expansion or the price increase Which of what we've seen here in America. In America, though, we are flush with gas. Um, we view this as just more transitional. Um, we, we, uh, we had 95 BCF of production in, in the United States uh, pre-COVID. That dropped to 88 BCF a day. Um, and then now it's back to around 91 yeah. BCF a day. With Ida, we lost two BCF. So but we think it'll come back. Let me ask you this then, Jack. For those who look at this market and go, this is going to be a disaster to some extent. I mean, you have people warning that this is going to choke off the global recovery and, you know, it's going to hit consumers, it's going to hit, but, you know, it's much worse in Europe. Like you said, much, much worse in Europe right now, worse in Asia, not quite as bad in the U.S., but... You know, the real question is, can prices stay up here? Do you expect prices to stay this high now? Because like you said, this is really a policy choice. If Europe says we're going carbon neutral by 2050 and the price of carbon is soaring and gas plants are becoming unaffordable and the biggest one's going offline and there's still huge demand from Asia, you know, this seems like a real supply crunch problem. What can be done to ameliorate it in the near term? Are prices just going to stay at these levels? Well, and that's part, part of the reason for our expansion plans. We're we have proposed to, to uh, add another $7 billion uh, project to our Corpus Christi facility to double our capacity or production capacity at that facility because of all of the worldwide uh, international utilities that want access to our, to our LNG. And um, um, I, I don't think, Kelly, that prices this high, this volatile are good for, for anybody. I mean, I feel like a farmer because I'm always worried about the weather around the world. And, and it just has to change. We need it to be uh, a fair price, an affordable price, and a stable price uh, so, so we can clean up the climate 
and, and, and help, help the world do a better job with getting off of solid fuels like coal and older nuclear facilities.